When it's bringing data into your Salesforce instance, as a default, Clearbit will overwrite blank standard fields or anything with the value unknown on leads, contacts, and accounts. But what if you want to overwrite non-standard fields or even your existing manually entered data? That's where Salesforce's built-in process builder comes in useful. This is great if instead of unknown, you use a different placeholder, not provided, NA, and so on. You can even set up custom rules to overwrite bad data, so you could choose to overwrite fields with Clearbit data if the address info is incomplete, for instance. This can get as sophisticated as you'd like, but we'll keep it simple for this demo. First up, let's start the process builder. You'll find the process builder by heading to Setup, Create, Workflow and Approvals, Process Builder. Click the New button to get started. You'll need to create a new process for each field that you want to overwrite for this particular use case. Luckily, Salesforce provides a clone function which speeds things along. To get started, you'll want to add an object. In this case, we'll set the object to contact and make sure to start the process when a record is created or edited. Next, we'll add some criteria. Click the Add Criteria button. We'll next want to specify when to enrich the record. First, we'll check to see if there's an existing Clearbit record using this Clearbit field. Set the operator to null and leave the type and value to boolean and false. Next, we'll add another row. The Clearbit ready field indicates when a contact is done being enriched. So for this step, we'll set it to when Clearbit ready equals true. You'll also want to make sure that Clearbit has data for the field you're overwriting and what value you want to overwrite. For this example, we'll be overwriting the last name. So you'll set the field to last name. The operator to is null and the value to false. Last up, we'll set the actions you want the process builder to take. Start by clicking the Add Action button. This is where you'll actually overwrite the field. Now, set the action type to Update Records. Give the action a name. Set the record type to Select the contact record that started your process. And finally, you just want to set the field you want to overwrite on the contact with the Clearbit data, like this. That's it, you're done. Activate and you're good to go.